yay, oh yay, oh yay. Lawrence Galan is a professor of conducting at the University of Denver, where he teaches students music and also conducts the school's symphony. He, along with other artists, educators, and people who rely upon works in the public domain, brought a constitutional challenge to a law that Congress enacted in 1994. That law is known as the Restored Copyright Provision that was enacted in Section 514 of the Uruguay Round Agreements Act. Congress enacted this law as a part of an implementation of the various agreements of the World Trade Organization that was newly formed in 1994. One of those agreements was aspects of the Berne Convention, which regulates different relationships among countries in terms of copyright. Now, the effect of this restored copyright provision is that it removes thousands of foreign works from the public domain in the United States. When a work is in the public domain, that means that the people can freely exploit it and use it however they see fit. However, when a work is under copyright, the copyright holder typically holds the authority to control copying, public performances, the further making of derivative works based on that work, and a number of other aspects of the exploitation of the work. Now, Professor Golan claims that the effect of the restored copyright provision is that it has hurt his ability to teach his students important works of Russian composers, including Shostakovich, Stravinsky, and Prokofiev. For instance, the sheet music that involves these Russian works is now rented at prices that can be in the neighborhood of several hundred dollars, if not more. Now, the Supreme Court agreed to hear Professor Galan's challenge this fall. The, the case raises two fundamental questions involving constitutional law. First, whether Congress has the power under the Copyright Clause to remove works from the public domain and grant them these restored copyrights. And secondly, whether the First Amendment rights of Professor Golan and the others involved in the case have been violated by the restrictions imposed by the restored copyrights. The Supreme Court will hear oral argument on October 5th, and we should expect a decision by uh, early next summer.